Hello, my beautiful Geminis. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of those of you that are currently not in communication with your person. So uh, let's just get started here. Okay. So we have the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck here. Some of you may be dealing with a Taurus and we also have the Chariot when I split the deck, okay? So some of you could be dealing with the Cancer. Gemini, it seems that, you know, your person here may want some sort of progress when it comes to a higher level of commitment, okay? I can actually read this two ways. It could be progress or, or forward movement when it comes to, uh, you know, a commitment or a relationship here. Or, uh, you know, this card could also speak of morals, values, uh, you know, your core beliefs here. So I feel like they, they, there may be a difference in your values and maybe this person wants to move on from your differences or they want to, you know, speak about it here. Um, but let's see, uh, I'm going to start off by seeing how this person's currently viewing you. Okay. King of Cups, okay. They're viewing you as someone that they have a lot of love for, um, but they're also viewing you as someone who is uh, very emotionally expressive, very nurturing, very kind. Um, bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords, the Hermit, as well as the Death card, okay? So some of you may be dealing with a Scorpio or a Virgo here, but as far as this energy goes, I feel like this is someone who's currently viewing you as isolating yourself from a situation, possibly working on accepting an ending, um, but they still feel like your emotions are involved or they can sense that you're still thinking of them, that sort of energy. Now, I do see it as someone who, you know, has a lot of love for you, but let's see what the challenges are. Death card, okay. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Four of Cups. Nine of Swords, the Two of Cups. You know what I see here, guys? There's a focus on the ending or like what led to this, to the separation, but there's also an energy of acting kind of nonchalant here or maybe just dwelling in the past. With the Nine of Swords and the Two of Cups, there's a lot of worry surrounding this connection in terms of like, are we going to be able to come together because I'm still thinking of you. I still feel connected to you. Okay, let me get a clarifier on the death card. The tower okay so we have like a lot of scorpion energy here um and we have the devil on the bottom of the deck with the uh page of cups okay so some of you could be dealing with the capricorn it's almost like what led to this separation or the separation alone could have been extremely abrupt because i see that your person is a bit frustrated okay they could be focused on you know um what is broken right there's a broken uh, uh cup on the ground here so they could be wanting to fix the situation but there's something that's aggravating them because you know the shade red is standing out to me here and there could be some sort of anger or frustration pretty much it's like they don't feel grounded it's like there's something here that they're still holding on to, something that's upsetting them, and they feel a bit, uh, you know, all over the place, if you will, uh, since this ending or separation. And with the death card, guys, like, it could be, uh, you know, an ending, but it could also be transformation. So they could also be focused on something that has changed in this dynamic. Like, it could have been leading up to the separation. Maybe there was a lack of consistency. Maybe the effort was decreasing. But I see, like, mainly what I see here in the uh, challenge position is someone who is stressed out, possibly even a bit frustrated, but they're, like, bottling up that energy here. I do feel like this is someone, again, who feels connected to you, and they could be thinking about you quite a bit with the devil card. Um, and this could also speak about, you know, um, someone who is like overindulging or, or you know, maybe, uh, you know, using that as like a coping mechanism to not maybe uh, think about the situation here. So let's see how you're viewing them. Justice in reverse, okay? Um, some of you are dealing with a Libra. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Two of Swords. 
So you're very conflicted when it comes to this situation. With the five of wands, you may even feel like there's a lot of mumbo jumbo. And by that, I mean, maybe there's a lot of thoughts, a lot of emotions. Maybe you feel like there are a lot of opinions involved when it comes to this bond here. But the five of wands could uh, speak of external influences that you don't really have control over. Um, so with the Ace of Swords as well as the Two of Swords, it's letting me know that you definitely want to break through here, but you're viewing this person in the Justice card in reverse, so you feel like they either you know, treated you in an unfair manner, or when you analyze the situation, you feel like there's a lack of uh, you know, balance. You feel like things uh, were very one-sided here. I also feel like for some of you, you're viewing this person as not really making an effort to make things right with you or fix the situation, like fix the separation here. Okay, so they're viewing you in the King of Cups energy. Let's see how you really feel. Seven of Cups. You kind of don't know how to feel right now. You know, Seven of Cups could be emotional confusion. It could be, um, you know, having a hard time seeing past illusions. Again, this is going hand in hand with that energy I was just speaking about. Kind of like there's a lot going on around you. Maybe certain things you feel like are out of your control. You, you know, not only are you um, analyzing the situation, you're almost looking at it like, okay, it could have went, it could have happened this way or it could have happened that way. And I do feel like there are a lot of thoughts and emotions surrounding this connection and this person when you think of them, although you still feel a bit confused. So there's something that seems unclear to you. And I also feel with the Seven of Cups here, Gemini, like there could be an emphasis on illusions, okay? Maybe you feel like the way that your person is viewing this situation is very different from the reality of it. Or maybe you feel like how you feel towards this person um, is very different from how they think you feel. Like there's something to do with maybe a perception being incorrect or again you know the the word that i'm getting here is illusions but i do feel like with the seven of cups guys like in your emotions you kind of feel a bit all over the place right now you're like i don't know how to feel you know i don't know if i want to move forward i don't know if you know i should still invest in this situation but it's also like you may want some sort of clarity clarify the uh, seven of cups yeah, you may want some sort of clarity. You may be seeking answers as you're watching my read here. Yeah, Page of Pentacles, bottom of the deck here, the world, the Ten of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. There's something about you feeling, like in your emotions, it's letting me know that you feel there was either minimal effort, uh, you know, in the connection, or you feel like there's a lack of effort now when it comes to fixing the connection. Because again, you know, reading these two cards in your emotions and the way that you're viewing this person you feel like they're not necessarily wanting to make things right with you or that's what their actions are telling you, right? Like if they're not doing anything about the situation, you can't help but think, well, maybe you don't want to make things right with me. Um, we have the world, the Ten of Wands, the Queen of Swords. Because, you know, Gemini, with the world, the Ten of Wands, and the Queen of Swords, you are trying your best to accept an ending, but I don't know, in your emotions, I feel like a part of you wants clarity or at least a form of closure. So it's like, because the world and the Ten of Wands could be, okay, this was a ve this was very burdensome, or I'm trying to accept an ending, and the Queen of Swords could be, I really need to cut ties with this person or release this person from my energy. I don't want to pay attention to them. Back turned towards a situation uh, kind of energy here. But with the Seven of Cups as well as the Page of Pentacles, maybe you feel like, uh, you know, a part of you feels like I would like some closure or maybe a conversation can help me better understand what's going on here. It seems that you're upset with the way that things ended. Like maybe you're accepting the ending or you're accepting the separation, but you wish it happened differently or you wish it wasn't like, it almost seems to me that it was a very confusing ending. So was this like a case of ghosting or do you feel like there was a lack of explanation, uh, you know, when it, when, uh, you know, leading up to the separation here? What's the death card? Let's see. Let's clarify the death card. Judgment. Wow. It's actually a very powerful, powerful spread here because it's letting me know that there's a major change you know with the judgment this may be a change that you have been waiting on for quite some time um you know this could be letting me know that after the separation your person is starting to realize what needs to change in order to come together or it's like a realization like okay this is why things are not 
work out between Gemini and I, but maybe this is what I need to change moving forward. Whether it's to move forward with you or without you, they're starting to wake up to what was wrong. They're starting to acknowledge the reality of a situation. Again, that's why it's interesting that I was getting, um, you know, that energy of someone's maybe perception being wrong. It's like, you know, your person's perception on this connection could have been very different when they were still operating from like impulse emotion or, or when they were still aggravated about, you know, the situation versus when they are, um, you know, more uh, uh, calm about the situation or collected. They're seeing it from a different lens. That's what I'm getting here. Okay, um, the tower. Queen of Cups. So we have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. Bottom of the deck here, the King of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Four of Wands, yeah. And the Lovers. Because I see this energy of this person possibly wanting to reconcile with you, but there's also an energy of them being reminded of why things did not work out between the both of you. Here's what I will say. There is frustration for the fact that you guys are not speaking, but on your person's end, I also feel like there's something about them wanting to feel heard or they feel like they want to express their emotions to you as much as they want to know how you feel. You understand what I'm saying here, um, Gemini? Because it seems that, you know, you're very, um, you know, emotionally intelligent. You may have a lot that you want to express with the King of Cups energy, but they're, with the Queen of Cups energy, they're, you know, they're kind of wanting the same. But it's like, like I sense frustration, but I also sense like an urgency to create change. That's just what I'm getting with the judgment card as well as the tower here. So you're viewing them in the justice card in reverse. Okay, let's see how they really feel. Like it could be someone who wants to own up or, or to something or like take accountability here. See, four of wands. So in their emotions with the four, uh, you know, is the four of wands, which means they are thinking of a reconciliation. High priestess, seven of pentacles, the sun, eight of swords. Yeah, here is, see, this is kind of, um, you know, a repetitive message. But what I'm saying here is, yeah, they are keeping to their self. As much as they're thinking about a reconciliation, guys, what is being illuminated to them right now is almost making them feel stuck. So it's either a truth that was revealed to them in the past, but they were not accepting of it. Or it's their perception that has changed where they're looking at things from a different light or, or in a different light and it's making them feel like, wow, you know, I need to reevaluate my decision or I'm looking at things very differently where I feel a bit, you know, kind of uh, uh, lost here. Like there's a lot of analyzing going on, but I also feel like they're doing it in a very discreet manner. And what you don't see with the Eight of Swords is this is someone who's very stuck in their thoughts about you. Four of Wands in their feelings. Let's clarify that. Eight of Swords, the Hermit. Yeah, this is what they're thinking about in silence, guys. Like this person feels very connected to you. You know, Queen of Cups and King of Cups are uh, could be an energy, like two energies that really understand, uh, you know, each other on an emotional level. But with the Four of Wands, as much as reconciliation is in their emotions, on their mind, with the Eight of Swords as well as the Hermit, there's a lot that they're keeping to their self. Going back to what I was saying when I did pull out the Tower card there, um, you know, they're like something is upsetting them, but like they're choosing to bottle it, bottle it up at least right now. And I see that it is someone who cares about you, but they're stuck in their thoughts. They're stuck in their thoughts. They're feeling very isolated. They, they even feel a bit misunderstood here. And, you know, again, the Tower, the Death Card Judgment, it's in the middle. So, like, some of you may resonate with the energy because in your feelings, we have the Seven of Cups. So you may agree with the fact that you don't know how to feel either. Or maybe you feel misunderstood or you feel like this person wasn't completely honest. Um, you know, again, Seven of Cups could speak about illusions. But mainly what I'm getting here in your person's emotions is they are thinking about a reconciliation with you. But with the Eight of Swords and the Hermit, it's almost like they feel they need to hold back at this time. Um... But I don't know, I'm getting a persistent download like where they are feeling some sort of frustration here. But they're not revealing this to you. Hmm. What's the Eight of Swords? The Five of Pentacles and the Emperor. Yeah, this is someone who misses you, but they're like trying to remain 
uh, composed or they're trying to keep their emotions intact here. They're still paying attention to you. You know, in that card, she's looking back at the path that she, she came from. So it's like they're still fixated on this separation or the way that things transpired, but it's almost like they're trying their best not to uh, think about the situation or they're focusing on their responsibilities or as much as they feel stuck, they don't want to show you that. Okay, what's the potential outcome here? It's like I do sense that they're thinking about coming together, but I also sense that they're holding on to something. I don't want to say like holding a grudge, but there may be something that's fresh on their mind or something that's currently upsetting them. Hmm. And then in your emotions, I feel like you are viewing the situation as there's really nothing being done about it. So you're trying to focus on accepting the ending, even though a part of you wants a form of closure because you feel like the way things ended between the both of you was very confusing. So you either feel like there was a lack of explanation. Maybe you feel like you still had a lot of questions. Maybe for some of you it was a case of ghosting, like I mentioned. What's the potential outcome here? Okay, Queen of Swords, Two of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, it sounds about right. And then we have the Fool and the Empress. So what I see here with the Queen of Swords and the and the Two of Cups and the uh, you know outcome is you guys are still feeling connected. Okay, there's still a lot of emotions here. You know, Queen of Cups, King of Cups, Two of Cups, right? Still emotions, still feeling connected, still thinking of each other. But with the Queen of Swords, I will say that there is a party here where their frustration or anger towards the situation right now is outweighing, you know, their desire to break the silence or their desire to put forth some sort of effort. So again, if that's on, you know, your person's end or your end, it's almost like it's not to say there's not an energy of wanting to fix things. I think that this separation could be either very recent or something is still um, very fresh on someone's mind where they're holding on to it. So again, if that's your person's energy, they're holding on to something and until they're able to release that, it would be hard for them to, you know, converse here because it's two very different energies. Queen of Swords is like more of, um, you know, a logical energy when you're looking at things from a realistic point of view, but it doesn't change the fact that you guys still feel very connected here. So like, you know, even in your energy with the Seven of Cups and, and Page of Pentacles, maybe you do want a form of closure, but you're like, I don't want to be the one to reach out or I don't want to be the one to uh, seek some sort of answers because yes, you feel connected to them. Two of Cups could be mutual emotions, but Queen of Swords, maybe you're sticking by what you said. Maybe you're like, okay, I do feel connected to you, but I, but I want my space or I feel like I need to, you know, um, be held back at this time. So let's clarify this energy, Queen of Swords, Two of Cups. It's a very kind of like all over the place energy is what I'm sensing, guys. Um, Queen of Swords, Two of Cups. Okay, what is the Queen of Swords and the Two of Cups? We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the three of wands and we also have the page of swords i see a lot of spying going on i see a lot of like even if this person's not speaking to you i see that they're keeping tabs on you and with the ace of pentacles and the three of wands they are creating a plan guys they are focused on the future that's what the three of wands speaks about and the ace of pentacles could be an opportunity that presents presents itself to you or your person to come together but you guys have free will so it's about acting on it what I see is, yes, this is someone who's planning towards the future, but if I'm being completely honest, I think that this person either needs to heal from something or or release some sort of anger because it's like they're thinking about the future, but they're also holding on to something that's bothering them, not to sound too repetitive here. So let's see what they want to communicate to you. Okay. I want to start over. Yeah, exactly. They're still thinking about the future with you. I definitely do see that. You know, three of wands could be when you're making a plan, when you're looking at what's ahead. Um, and with the ace of pentacles, that could also be a new stable beginning. I need security. 
Okay, so this person definitely um, would want to move things to the next level. And this could be like wanting a higher level of commitment or it could be I need security in terms of like they're working on their stability at this time. Bottom of the deck, it says you let me down. I miss seeing you. Yeah, there's like... As much as there's an energy of like, you could, you know, you may have, you know, you have your right to be upset as well, but I think that this person may be feeling like they have the right to be upset as well. You know what I mean, Gemini? Like, you may not agree with the fact that it says you let me down. Maybe you feel like they let you down, right? But I'm not here to play the blame game, guys. I'm just, you know, expressing the energies. Because that's what I'm sensing. Like, they're still mad about something or they're still upset about something, but it doesn't change the fact that they still have love for you. I can't do this. Yeah. I feel like this is more so I can't do this right now um, because there's, again, there are thoughts about moving forward, but the thoughts that they're currently thinking, like pertaining to their sorrow or pain is making them feel stuck. It says, I am not over you. Yeah, that's very clear here. And then it's, it's very interesting too, because another download that I was getting here, guys, is like, this is someone who is thinking of you and feeling stuck, but on the outside, they may want to remain like they're not as impacted by it. Or with the emperor, this could quite literally be someone who has an image to maintain, someone who has, um, you know, who cares about, you know, how they're viewed by others. You know, they may be feeling like, okay, I have a lot of responsibilities or I have to appear a certain way, so I can't really show my true emotions here. Okay. So my wonderful Geminis, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.